Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a haul from Salt Mountain Melts. <laughs> this is a brand that I discovered last year. I'd heard about them, but I didn't order from them for, I think, until last year. And I've really been enjoying their wax. So I placed a pre-order. I can't remember when this pre-order went up. I think it was November and recently received my order in the last week or so. So I'm going to share with you what I grabbed. Now I did just paint my nails, so I'm probably going to be holding things funky. Sorry about that. And I have a Ziggy hair. You can see Ziggy's behind me. I have a Ziggy hair on my face. Sorry. Okay. I did mostly grab souffles, but I have three tubs. The first tub is sweet and salty. And this one is soft pretzel sugar cookies, sweet buttery, so hard to read this, sweet buttery dough vanilla frosted cake. This was poured in January. This is fabulous. Oh, it's the good kind of pretzel. The salty pretzel. Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. Oh, I cannot wait to get cracked into this one. Yum. Next tub is Holy Night Zigster. Hey! This is Vanilla Birch, Blackberry, and Pelo Santo. I love all three of those notes so much. So let's see. I, I have sniffed these, but it's been like over a week since I did. This is amazing. Her blackberry is fabulous. There's a nut in here. Oh my God, the vanilla birch is so good. This is so fabulous. So I think the owner of Salt Mountain is Amanda. I hope, hope that's right. Anyway, this is amazing. I want more. I don't think she has put the, if there are pre-order extras, I don't think they've been posted on the website yet. But if they were, I would pick more of that scent up because Holy Night is amazing. The last tub, and this one's actually broken. So once I put these in my inventory, I'm going to put this in a bag. This is Sin City, Baccarat Rouge, Vanilla Cupcakes, and Palo Santo. And this is nice. It's on the lighter side. I can totally smell that the Baccarat Rouge in here and the Palo is very strong. But that's mostly what I smell. So I think this needs to just cure for a little while. Yeah. And I definitely need to get this into a bag. All right. So next I have souffles. And there are like three, six, ten souffles, I think. I want to say I grabbed probably one of everything. I can't remember now. So now I have ten souffles to share with you. The first one is Cozy by the Campfire. This one is Comfort Zone Palo Santo Campfire Marshmallow. I don't know what Comfort Zone is, to be honest. I think, is that a dupe for Bath and Body Works? Uh, lavender, I don't, Rose Vanilla? No, I can't remember. This is really pretty. To me, this is a beautiful bathroom scent or a laundry scent which makes sense because it has, oh, I was thinking it had lavender. This is really pretty. And maybe the comfort zone has lavender because I definitely smell lavender in there. It's really nice. Next I have Ophelia. This is sugared strawberry, coconut milk, vanilla orchid, tonka bean, and vanilla cake pops. I am a fan, a huge fan of vanilla orchid. I think that's such a beautiful, like dark floral note. This is really, really pretty. Ooh. The, to me, this is like a summer bedroom scent during the day. Not necessarily, maybe, maybe not so much at night. But I think that one's really pretty. Next one is Marshmallow Cake. I love her labels. Look at how beautiful this is. This is Sweet Dreamy Vanilla Cake and Gooey Marshmallows. I always like to smell the bottom of a souffle. Yeah, I can definitely smell the marshmallow note in here. And the, the this is a light scent. I mean, I think you've got marshmallow and then vanilla cake. It's on the light side, but this smells delicious. It would be a beautiful blender. 
for something that you may feel like needs a little bit more of a bakery note to it. It's so good. Next up is Bake Shop. And this is powdered donuts, waffle cone, and marshmallow fluff. That is delicious. To me, the the powdered donuts, I smell a lot of the, like I, I feel like I can smell the powdered sugar. Ooh, that is so yummy. You definitely get the waffle cone in here and the marshmallow fluff like creams it out. That is so good. So good. Next up is Cupcake Connoisseur. How cute that little cupcake is. Cupcake at Tiffany's Vanilla Butter fr Fudge and Birthday Cake. And this one does, some. most of these do have like little glitters in here. Yeah, you totally smell the vanilla fudder, but <laughs> not fudder budge. You totally smell the vanilla butter fudge in here. And the birthday cake, birthday cake. I feel like the cupcake at Tiffany's is light in this one. It's fine. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It smells delicious. It'll be interesting if that gets stronger as it cures or if that vanilla butter fudge is more prominent. No. Next one I have is, this one's really hard to read, Blizzard at the Boardwalk. It's got cute little snowflakes everywhere. Really pretty blue wax. And look, it's got glitter snowflakes in there. Snowflake glitters. Oh, I didn't tell you the set notes on this. <laughs> Let me do that first. Smells delicious. Scent notes are peppermint candies and boardwalk mellow clouds. This is beautiful. The peppermint in here is like the perfectly blended peppermint with the boardwalk mellow clouds. Like it's not in your face, but it adds a little something to the BMC. This is really pretty. This would even be good, I think, in the bedroom. I'm not usually a fan of peppermint in the bedroom, but I think that would be really nice. Next is Bowl and Spoon. And if I remember correctly, this was a new blend she offered during the pre-order. Fruit Loops, Strawberry Pound Cake, Rice Krispies, and Cereal Milk. And this also has some of the like, little pink glitters. I cannot speak. Oh my gosh. You can totally smell. I'm getting lemon. But I know that's the Fruit Loops and maybe the Strawberry Pound Cake mixed. But I do feel like I'm getting a bit of, you know, that kind of lemony note that's in Fruit Loops. So it's not, a, it's more of a bakery lemon. That is delicious. Next is Blackberry Sugar Bread. And this is Blackberry Baked Bread and Sugar. This one also has some purple glitters. This one's on the light side. I mean, I smell mostly blackberry and the bread. Okay, I do smell the bread because like I smell like a bready blackberry, but it's not very strong. So maybe it just needs to sit. It's gonna. <laughs> Next one is PB and J. This is strawberry jam, bread, peanut butter, and honey. I'm not traditionally a fan of like honey in wax. If it's a barely noticeable note, then it's fine. But if it like overpowers the scent, I'm not a big fan. This is really interesting. I do smell the strawberry jam. Sometimes I find peanut butter to smell a little burned. Or like uh, not even burned, but charred, if that makes sense. I do get a slight hint of that in here, but I think it blends well with the strawberry jam. So it's, it's definitely not forward with the peanut butter scent. And the last one I have is Fluffernutter. And this is peanut butter, sugar cookie, and marshmallow cream. I'm sorry, Fluffernutter cookies is the name of the scent. Yeah, I don't really get that charred note in this one. If it's there, it's very much in the back. This is a little bit also light, but it smells really good. I definitely get like the 
sugar cookie note in here and a slight hint of marshmallow. It's delicious. I know. So this, this pre-order was fabulous. I really enjoyed pretty much everything. There's nothing here that I don't like. I would absolutely go in and get a couple of more. Like I would definitely get another Holy Night, another Sweet and Salty for sure, and maybe a couple of others because this was really good if she offered the pre-order like extras. Now I know there's going to be another pre-order. I don't know when I'm getting this up. So I may have posted this after the pre-order. I'm sorry. The pre There's a pre-order on the 11th of February. And I want to say her pre-orders are open for, like this one's open for eight hours. So it's a short window, but I don't think she, let me see, does she close early? No, she does not close early. So it's usually open the full eight hours. She offers souffles, tubs, and loaves. And there are some really nice sounding scents that I'm like strawberry marshmallow cake. Yummy. Southern peach. Yum. I mean, there are some really great sounding scents. So leaning more on the spring summer vibe like there's one called lilac cake which is lavender and lilac marshmallow cake and pink sugar that sounds amazing i feel like i was looking through this and i'm like i want one of everything <laughs> anyway that is going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well staying safe and melting through your wax please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time bye